Broadcast TV is in for some major changes over the next few years. Now, some of those changes are obvious, like the growth of PVRs or personal video recorders. People are now watching TV when it suits them, not when the networks say they should be watching. The other big shift we're seeing is the changing network itself. Now, instead of getting all of our TV off normal cable service, we're increasingly using online internet-based services for our TV and movies. Apple iTunes and YouTube are two of the popular, legitimate sources for downloading, streaming video. Now, up to now, most people would watch content from these sites on their computer or possibly on their iPod or other portable device. We were all about playing small on small screens with great portability. But the quality of the content, the dynamic nature of it, and the online capabilities of the internet dictated that we should have the ability to enjoy this sort of content loudly, proudly, in higher definition. And thus, Apple TV was born. This is Apple TV, or at least it's the heart of Apple TV. It's actually hardware and software. It's designed to store and playback our digital files. What we see here is actually a set-top box, but it's unlike any other set-top box you've seen before because this one doesn't connect to our cable. Instead, it connects to our Wi-Fi, our wireless network in our home, and the content comes to it through our computers. If we take a look here in iTunes on my MacBook, we see under Devices, the Apple TV appears as a device. This is the exact same as if I'd connected an iPod, except there's one real difference. Instead of having to sync, always having to sync all of the content that I want to listen to on the iPod, because the Apple TV lives on our Wi-Fi network, we could either sync it because it does have a large hard drive on board so we can move all of the data that we want to watch across onto the Apple TV, or we can actually stream it over the wireless network so we don't actually have to move the data at that point. Now, what sort of data do we have access to? Well, we can view movies, we can view TV shows, we can view music and podcasts all, interestingly, the same categories that we find in iTunes. And we can either purchase this stuff if it's, if it's for pay, if it's like a TV show that we want to purchase, or music, we can purchase it in iTunes, and a lot of other content is free to download. Things like podcasts are free to download, and in a lot of cases, content providers are doing high-resolution versions to play back on Apple TV. So we can also download stuff from sites like YouTube and other streaming sites. All that we have to do is move it into iTunes. Once it's in iTunes, we can access it through our Apple TV. Now, the Apple TV will play back in high definition. It has an HDMI output, so we can also download high-quality video to play back, as well as lower-quality podcasts. You can do it all with one device. And actually, I want to move down to the bottom, just show you the sources here for a moment. And as you'd expect from Apple, the, the Apple TV is very easy to use, it's very easy to network, and here we see the different sources, the different places that we can go to play back content on our screen. So the Apple TV itself is up. We also have My Library, which is all of the iTunes that I have on my library, but if a friend brings by a computer and they've got a video that we want to watch on their computer and they have it in iTunes, you can also connect to their iTunes, which will give you access to any media that they have on their computer. And the volume of content that's available to us in a digital form on the internet to download and view on a product like Apple TV is growing in leaps and bounds. Of course, there are literally thousands of podcasts now that cover every subject under the sun. We can play back all of our music and we're playing it back on our home entertainment system, which is usually the best sound system in the house. And of course, TV shows that you can purchase for download and in some cases you can also download for free so you can watch them when you want and where you want to watch them. There are so many new ways to do things and services that we used to take for granted, like phone phone and cable TV are being replaced by the internet in many instances. An appliance like Apple TV opens our eyes to new ways of doing things and it also opens the eyes of content producers who are now designing both traditional and non-traditional television series specifically for the web and are creating high quality streaming versions for the Apple TV market. Apple TV is a new way of doing things. It offers the ability to watch what you want when you want it and exposes everyone to new and exciting content. And unfortunately, that is all the time we have for our exciting content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time either here or streamed on your Apple TV, perhaps on your iPod. It'll be Dotto Tech.